Hello, I welcome all of you in my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe it. Today I will discuss one of my publications in which I have applied Taguchi orthogonal arrays and Taguchi signal to nice ratios for single opt objective optimization and then I applied PCA per principal component analysis and GRA grid relation analysis for the multiple for the multi objective optimization techniques. So Brief overview, I have taken four factors namely groove angle, preheat temperature, electrode diameter and root cap. These factors are denoted by A, B, C and D. Let's go to mini tab in order to make a Taguchi L9 orthogonal array. So click on stat, then click on DOE, then Taguchi, then create a Taguchi design. In this design, I have taken four factors and each factor has a three level. So I will click on this three level. Check this on, click on this one. Then number of factors. There are four number of factors in my study. Designs, go to designs. So there are two designs available with us. L9, 3 raised to power 4 and L27, 3 raised to power 4. Now what is meant by this L3 raised to power 4 uh, in the column, in the second column? So L3 raised to power, uh, so 3 raised to power 4 means that there are three levels and raised to power 4 means 4 means four factors and so what's then uh, the column uh, three raised to power columns are same but the first column of runs they have different l9 orthogonal array one of them is l9 and second one is 27 basically l9 give us the minimum number of experiment that we can conduct to find out our results but if we increase our replications means if we increase the number of experiments at the same settings so we can increase it to 27 basically L27 give us extra degrees of freedom in order to perform our experiment means let me elaborate it more I have three fact I have three levels of each factor so the two degrees of freedom will be contributed to each of the fact each of the factor so I will only left with none for the error degrees of freedom so L9 we can't apply in case of four factors easily so we can apply we can't apply ANOVA on it directly we have to use regression analysis if we select L9 orthogonal array because in regression analysis one degree of freedom will be contributed to each of the factor and we left with four degrees of freedom for the error in case of L27 we can easily apply ANOVA and two and two degrees of freedom for each of the factor will be contributed so eight degrees of freedom will be contributed to the factors and rest of you can say 16 degrees of freedom uh, you can say 18 18 18 degree of freedom will be left for the error so 8 for the factor 18 for the error and one will, will uh, one degree of freedom will be lost as a overall so we will uh, now use l9 orthogonal array click on ok then factors in order to make a coded design you will write here a b c d as i have written in my mentioned in my research paper as a b c d so this is my coded design sometime you will use coded design and sometime you will use uncoded design i will make in this video both for you people so all of the factors has three levels so in the Taguchi design in the column uh, one we will get the settings for factor a in the column second column we will get settings for factor b third column setting for column uh, factor c and four column will contain the settings associated with the treatment in the fourth column click ok then go to the options store in the worksheet it means that the taguchi orthogonal array design which we are going to make we want to store it in the worksheet so click ok and then click ok so check we have got our orthogonal array same as that have been made in the research paper so we have done with this now i came i come towards the uncoded matrix you have to apply the similar steps but for a few little differences go again to taguchi create a taguchi design i have a three level design with four number of factors the design i've selected is l9 click ok then i will say the factors so what will be the, my factor name i will say that my first factor name is groove angle so i will write capital ga the second one is pht preheat temperature the third one is ed electrode diameter and the last one is root cap then instead of level one two three i will write the values of this ga so my ga values are 50 or 50 60 
and 70. Same is the case, I will write my preheat temperature that were 75, 100, sorry, 75 space, uh, okay, 75 space 100 space 125. And same is the case, root electrode diameter, I have taken 2.6, then 3.2, then 4. And the uh, root gap I have 2, 3 and 4 millimeters. So these are the values I have entered. Click OK. OK. So column values can't be unique. So we will write that this uh, PHT preheat temperature will be in the second column. So that's then OK now. And then uh, click OK. So you can see that uncoated Taguchi orthogonal array matrix have been has been made. Look at this, all of these values. So now what you will have to do, you will have to write in the next column your response variables. So my response variables were TS means tensile strength that has been measured in megapascal, IE is impact energy measured in joule, H is the hardness measured in brinal, and A is the angular distortion that has been measured in the theta. One thing more, if you want me uh, to do your project, I'm available. Just uh, I have my mobile number, WhatsApp number and me, uh, my email address has been provided in the end screen, end screen as well as uh, in the description of this video. You can contact me anytime for your bachelor's or MSc or PhD projects. I can uh, I will help you as much I can. So let's go to uh, input the data, response data in the Taguchi and then I will uh, and then she will signal to nice ratios for you people uh, in mini time and in the next video I will uh, generate these Taguchi based signal to nice ratios in the Excel. So I have copy pasted the whole data in the mini tab. So now before performing the Taguchi, you will have to select a bus queue uh, to set to input the uh, criteria to select the criteria for calculating the Takuchi signal to nice ratios. For example, I am first telling you the problem that will be arise. So then uh, I will let you know that what are the Taguchi signal to nice ratios. Let's suppose I am saying that Taguchi signal uh, tensile strength is one of my response. So when you will go to the options, then there come the question that whether we should have to calculate the signal to nice ratios using larger the better or nominal the better or smaller the better. So here comes your decision that which criteria I have to select. In my research paper, I have told you about the Taguchi larger the better or higher the better signal to nice ratio. This is the formula minus 10 multiplied by log of 10, 1 divided by x where x is the number of uh, replications, 1 to x, 1 divided by y i j is the observation. These formula are, are quite important when we calculate these signal to nice ratios using Microsoft Excel. However, there, if in the mini tab you will have to uh, memorize what is the what is the criteria behind each of uh, these uh, formulas. So the larger the better or higher the better criteria means that uh, whether we want this proper mechanical property or characteristic or response variable as maximize or minimize. I mean that I have four responses tensile, impact, hardness, distortion. So which of the response I want to maximize and which of one I want to minimize. So if you are familiar to mechanical or industrial engineering, metallurgical engineering, you know that we need in case of welding, we need higher tensile strength and higher impact energy of the joint, whereas we need low hardness and low angular distortion of the welding joint. So I will select Taguchi larger the better criteria for tensile strength and impact energy, whereas I will select lower the better or smaller the better criteria for hardness and angular distortion. So let's go to the stat, then DOE, Taguchi, analyze Taguchi designs. Select tensile strength, okay, go to the options, select larger is the better, okay, this was the first one. Then uh, you can you can compute signal to nice ratio group plots and means of them. Uh, let me show the graph I have made in my research paper with a good aesthetics. So let's go to that graph because you need that graphs in for, the, for publishing your paper in a well-reputed journal. Let me show you. So these were the main effect plots for signal to nice ratios. You people will see that uh, Minitab will give us the, plot, the, the graph that were not as good aesthetically. So we will have to work on these graphs to make them uh, good looking attractive for 
publication so i i will make a separate video or in the next video i will let you know that how we can uh, make such graphs if you need any help you can also whatsapp me about this so we say that we need signal to nice ratio plots as well as plot of means click ok then next is analysis so we need the response table for signal to nice ratios and means click ok terminologies uh, a b c d four factor will be involved for doing the analysis click ok and storage means that whether you need the signal to nice ratios in the your uh, sheet or not so we say yes we need them click ok so this was all about you have calculated the signal to nice ratios for tensile strength these are all of the values so same is the case now i am going to repeat it the same procedure is except a little change for hardness and angular angular distortion let me do it for angular distortion let's see so i will select uh, select angular distortion rest of all of the options will be same however in the option you will go and you will select smaller the better because we need angular distortion as minimum as possible click ok and then click ok so now you will see now i am going to towards my results that what are my results says so my results are these are basically response table for means this response table means that pst preheat temperature has the highest delta value and is the most significant factor for the angular distortion next the root gap has uh, uh, has the least effect as compared to preheat temperature and it lies and stands second groove angle stands third and electrode diameter has the least effect on the angular distortion that was my uh, response table then these are my main effect plots for the means you will have to include these plots in your research paper and you will have to make editing in these graph to make them attractive and these and uh, graph main effect plots for signal to nice ratios this graph is also very important okay so you will have to include include these one one thing more before performing all this you have to also check your uh, normal probability plots that whether your uh, data is eligible for performing the whole analysis so you will go to the graph option to this graph uh, I've, I'm going to make this these normal probabilities for uh, you people because you have to also include these values in your research paper so what we will do uh, we will uh, go to the graph and then probability plot in the probability plot select the multiple click OK I've selected them earlier. I am deleting them. Then, then select tensile strength, impact energy, hardness, and angular distortion. Means all of the parameter for which you need the normal probability plots. Go to the option of multiple graph. Click in separate panels of same graph. This option is most important. You will have to select them in separate option of same graph. Click OK. Then again, click OK. So you will get the graphs in a second. So these are the graphs. In these graphs, the two values are most important. One of them is, uh, you can say one of the value is uh, the P value and the AD value. This AD value and the P value, this is the most important one for all of the variables. So tensile strength and uh, value of, for AD and P is, AD is 0.268 and P value is uh, 0.558. Same is the case, impact energy and hardness, angular distortion, distortion all of the values are given. Uh, you have to mention them in your research paper that your data follows normal distribution. If none of the data point is outside of these uh, two concerts interval lies at 95%, it's a normal probability plot that has been constructed at a 95% confidence interval. So your data follows normal distribution. So that was all about today that how you can calculate the Gucci wave signal to nice ratio, normal probability plots, main effect plots. If you need any help, again, I'm available on my WhatsApp, on my email. Uh, just text me and I will do uh, your help in your research work. Thanks for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe it. Bye bye.